hard to stop. I fell on my ass. We have no idea how we're gonna get back. Yes. Hmm? Hello. We have arrived at the Pyrenees. We got two hours of sleep, or three hours of sleep in the blah blah car. And we're excited to go skiing. I haven't snowboarded in like two years, so hopefully I don't tumble down mountain and fall on my ass. All right, so Christian and I just missed our uh, bus to go up to the mountains, so we're gonna try to hitchhike to get to another mountain to meet up with his cousin. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. Christian, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> there might be. We might. Uh, we might find pedophiles or something. Oh, I don't know. But let's hope that someone wants to take us <laughs> to the next village and then from the next village we see if we can get to the next one. Yeah, we've never hitchhiked before. I, at least I've never had. So hopefully we don't get kidnapped. <sighs> we're, we're now headed to Spain. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> get his slime pants on. <laughs> we just got a car to stop. <laughs> We're in Spain! We just successfully hitchhiked here. We met two really nice French ladies. They just saw us and they moved away their bags to the trunk so that we could sit. I need to look oh. up how, if there's a bus now or something, but I think we have to hitchhike again. Alright, so we just got on a free taxi with these Spanish Portuguese people. They were on their way to Portugal. They're on holiday, so we gotta ride it for free. Christian was speaking Spanish to them the whole time. When uh Vie Vieja. So so far hitchhiking is actually Work has actually been well. successful, so we're gonna see how this goes. We're almost there. Just 17 minutes. Woo! Mais alors, you fait... C'est tout, ça? We made it! We um, got a hold of a French dude in the car. He saw us struggling, so he stopped. And now we're here. He got his keys. I got my snowboard. And we're gonna wait 30 minutes before we can buy our so tired. Are you tired? tickets. Sorry. Also, do you have sunscreen? In my backpack. Cancer, cancer it is. Talking about the guy, how he said suave, which means like easy. Suave. No, no, like, I can't speak like that. Carving like really well. We're on the slope! On the slope, yo! Yo, 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 yo. I look ugly in, with this helmet. I always look ugly in helmets. No, you look cute. I look like I'm, I'm about to ride, ride a horse. <laughs> We're excited! Christian's upset that I'm using a soft phone. But I wear contacts, yeah, you have perfect eyesight. Giving, like, I'm giving everything to other people and then like... I would not wear myself. goggles if I don't end up contacts I'm very, in. I'm very selfless. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. We're the mountain! Christian Forling! You went too fast! Ah. Ow! I fell on my ass. We had no idea how we are going to get back. <laughs> oh no! Videos 
of you falling. Hey y'all, Christian found his cousins and he's skiing down with them right now, but I'm taking the lift down because part of my snowboard broke. The part that holds my ankles together on my right side because I'm a goofy snowboarder. Not that it matters, but um, this part like broke off <laughs> as soon as I was gonna go down. Which is probably good that I caught it because if I had it, I would have probably like tumbled and died or something. Overall, it was a really good ski day. We had so much fun. I am surprised that I didn't fall more. We're gonna try to find a way back to Bagnau de Richon where we reserved the Airbnb. I think we're just gonna try to ask around and see if there's anyone headed back to the French side of like the mountains, so. Wish us luck. We missed our last bus. We're gonna hitchhike back and see how that goes. I'm starving. Successfully hitchhiked. First car. We've got a fellow friend in the back. This guy was gonna take us, but he was like, I don't got space for three. So then he just like left. We got saved by two surgeons and they're so nice. Uh, this is the um, uh, Reyes Magos. The, the magic things. This is so cool. Oh. Yes. The guy that just dropped us off was so, so nice. We ended up at his place because he needed to take a shower. He was like a ski instructor. That was awesome, but he needed to go somewhere else. So we're close to Luchon. We're like a couple kilometers away, but we still need a ride. It's actually so much fun. Yeah, this is so much fun. Like you meet so many people. He was telling me about his Jan Fordino experience. Oh yeah, tell him, tell him about that. With, tell them. Yeah. Guys. Hey guys. So... <laughs> uh, Jan Frodeno is like the, the well, you know, Jan Frodeno is like the main triathlon guy. He's really famous. He won the Ironman in Hawaii. Um, and he doesn't know how to do alpine ski. So the guy came here to Bakia and he trained with the dude who took us. Like he's a star to me because I'm doing Ironman as so. well. So Long. He's a standing. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. It is the second day in the Pyrenees and we arrived in our Airbnb. I'll give you guys a quick tour once the place is a little bit cleaned up. It's a little bit messy right now, but it is so cute. So we made it back last night and it was a bit of a trek if you guys saw on the clip previously christian was like <laughs> in a mood we were freezing cold i was i was actually okay christian was one that was like getting hypothermia and it freaked me out a little bit so after the ski instructor who was super nice like led us into his home to warm up while he took a shower and then he dropped us off somewhere else like we stood there for like 30 to 40 minutes um maybe even longer and Christian started to freeze. So then I was like, okay, we need to go in a cafe and warm up. And we just, we're just happy to be somewhere warm. Um, the taxis weren't really running. The trains aren't running. So we were like, what do we do? And then right when I was um, about to get more hot chocolate, this like French lady was paying and I turned around and I asked her like, hey, are you going to like Luchon by chance? And she was like, yeah. So she was like an older French lady and her husband so they drove us home. We made it here. I literally passed out last night, which is why I didn't film. So we're actually not gonna ski today um, in the French side of the mountain because there's not like a lot of snow. And even though we reserved it, we're gonna see if we can like cancel and get a refund and have a spa day because there's apparently like a not too expensive spa nearby and we just really need it. My like neck hurts from snowboarding because I fell somehow and my butt hurt so we're just gonna take it easy today we're gonna go get lunch and i'm excited because it is so you guys can't see right now but it is so sunny outside and uh i'm just excited to go chill in the sun and wear my sunglasses because i got new sunglasses hey y'all editing Alyssa here i just wanted to pop in to say a quick Thank you so much for watching and to also let you guys know that I'm going to be posting a part 2 
to this trip, so stay in tune for that. That's going to be coming out very soon. Um, if you enjoy the content and want to see more travel and lifestyle related videos, and make sure that you guys do click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. Other than that, thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!